Hey everyone, it's Darken Sky, and I'm here real quick just to do a quick show off of the new region freeing that has been discovered for the 3DS. This works on all versions on all 3DSs. I'm running this on a new 3DS XL, the USA edition. And so yeah, let's go right into it. You're gonna need three things. You'll first need a copy of Cubic Ninja from your region. And mine's US, so I have the US Cubic Ninja. Now obviously you're gonna need a game outside your region that you want to play. And third, you need an internet connection. So, first things first, let's go into our system settings, because you need to know your system version in order for this to work. Now as you can see right here, I'm running version 9.0.0-20U. And you need to know that. So, next, you're going you're gonna to want to open up your internet and go to this URL, smealum.net slash region4. And yeah, it just explains what it does and you know all that fun stuff. So, let's go right into it first. You're going to need to enter in your system version. So if you're running a new 3DS, you're going to want to run new. And it can take all versions, so I'm going to go to 9. I can't scroll down. Anyway, it has all the numbers, and so now I need to select, what was it, 20? You. And you're going to click Submit, and it's going to give you this QR code. Now you need that. So, now we're going to go back to our main menu on the 3DS. Now you're going to want to insert your Cubic Ninja game. Uh... Hello. There we go. That was super weird. Anyway, we wait for the game to start up. Now we're on the main menu. What you're going to want to do is I already have some Cubic Ninja data for other hacks. But say you have some because you've actually played the game for some reason, or you have other hacks, what, you wanna, what you're going to want to do is hold down L, R, X, and Y all at once. Just hold them until you get this dialogue. It's like, do you want to delete all your data? Unfortunately, you're going to have to choose yes. Okay. So now that data is deleted. Now let me open up the QR code on my phone again. go. Now what, you wanna, what you're going to want to do is go to create, and do QR code, and then you scan QR code, and it'll give you your camera on the top. Let's get this cord out of the way. Then you're going to want to scan your QR code however you choose to have it open. Come on. There it goes. And it's going to run the exploit. This is why you need the internet connection, because obviously you can't scan a QR code and open this up if you're not connected to the internet. So yeah, it's going to say this will install the exploit to your save game, so overwrite, blah, 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 you're going to choose yes. And you press A to run it. And so now, you're actually going to take out your Cubic Ninja. Sorry, I can't show you this part. Take your foreign game and stick it in. And like it says, hit start. Then you wait. It's going to load real quick. And here we go. I'm running the Japanese version of Ocarina of Time on my new 3DS. As you clearly saw, it was a new version. And yeah, it all works all nice and dandy. Now the one thing you're not going to want to do is press the home button because as you have switched save games and the DS thinks you're running Cubic Ninja, when you press the home button, your system just kind of freezes and dies. Now, I'm going to be back in two seconds and I'll show you the next thing. And by the way, if your system does die, just hold down the power button and it'll shut off eventually. 
Just gotta give it a bit of time. And we're back. So, as you may notice, yes, you have installed the exploit, but if you try to put in the foreign game, your DS is still not going to read it. Like, I have Ocarina of Time in right now, but it's still not going to happen. So, you still need to launch it from Cubic Ninja every time, which is kind of a pain in the ass, but whatever. I'll take pain for a region free. Now, fortunately, you don't need to be connected to the internet every time you run this. Now that we've ran it once, we just go to create QR code, and it should just launch the exploit from there. Unfortunately, alongside this region free, there is one thing that is really sucky. Some games just don't work. There's not a full list yet, but so far the biggest, biggest game that doesn't work with this is Majora's Mask 3D. So, if you're buying a Japanese 3DS and want to stream your English version of Majora's Mask, I'm sorry. And I'm sure there will be a list released as the other games that are incompatible are discovered, but... So far, Majora's Mask is the only main one we know of. But, yeah, that's that's basically it. This is a pretty good workaround for if you want to play games outside your region. So, thanks for watching. And I'm releasing more 3DS stuff soon. I'll be doing some hacking tutorials, as well as just some ragged casual streams. So, thanks for watching. Hope this was helpful to you, and see you guys later. This game's actually got some pretty sweet music. Too bad it's like the most worthless game ever.